Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check me out. My name is Melissa, for those of you who do not know, I am also known as Green Eyed Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I love a little something about everybody, right? So please feel free to look at the playlist, see if something resonates with you. We hope that you'll join the family. And to my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so, so much. Always appreciate the love and support, guys. You know that. Um, as always, guys, you know, these readings are always very general. But if you want something personal, you know, you can book with me. Anything pertaining to my channel, you'll always find a link down below. My um, email, you know, how to book with me, my website, how to donate to the channel, my Instagram, my Facebook. Any other kind of like pertinent information is always going to be linked down below for you. Alrighty? So, with all that being said, let's get right into the video, guys. Hey Aquarius! Welcome back Aquarius. We're going to jump right into your reading. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use my deck that I designed. It's my first deck. Super excited about it. Something simple, like I said, very, 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 very simple. Um, I think I might have to eventually tomorrow, what I think I'll do is I'll input the um, website that I went to to do the decks. So in case anybody's interested, um, it was super simple. I felt like at certain points I felt like I was confused, but I was able to just like read and it guided me through. So I felt like it was super simple. Um, it's something anybody can do, really. Like, I mean, if you have downloads and you have a design that you have in mind or whatever, like, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? So I think I'll have to eventually input the link um, to the website down below. I, I should have just thought about doing that in the beginning. I don't even know why I didn't think about doing that. At any rate, I'm going to input it. Don't worry. So let's jump right in. So yes, so something as simple, you know, for the first time, I was like, oh, green knife in the sky. Like, I was like, I'll just do a picture of my eyes. Simple simple didn't have to pay a designer just uploaded my own picture whatever silly i know but whatever cheaper that way i just wanted to see a hard copy see how i felt like with the messages whatever and i've been loving it so far so i said after let's go i said we're gonna do energy check-ins with my deck and then we'll clarify and then we'll pull an oracle card so let's get into it all right aquarius so i hope you guys are doing well and that you're having a good january so aquarius season is among us upon us among us i don't know how to say it so let's see oh okay that one wanted to come out so we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and i have to say the shipping and everything like total like i really honestly didn't think it was that bad like it lets you upload the design that you want right and then it lets you put like the writing or whatever you know like you have to mess around with this see what you like play, play with the colors the you know the font stuff like that you play around with it you have fun it's creative right I like that they let you upload like your own image. Like I, it's it's very simple. Like it's a very simple way to like establish decks for yourself. If you wanna, you know, if you wanna sell them or if you wanna just have your own decks, you know, like where you have your own downloads. Like maybe there's decks out there that maybe you're like, you know what? I want this cause I need to get messages from this or whatever. Like it's just such a fun idea. And to be able to do it, I thought was super fun. This, I think I paid like maybe 20 bucks for it for like the hard copy, but there's so many, I think it's like, it might be like 45 or 100. I don't know. I can't remember how many. Maybe like 50 to 60 cards or something. So I didn't think that was bad at all. Like it's really not bad. The shipping was great. It came super fast. I mean, I feel like that's super cute. I don't know. And then you can set it up to sell it too. So I liked that idea as well. So that you can set it up, you know, to like, so you can sell it if you want. Like if you want to sell your deck, like I think that's cool too. So it's fun. Check it out. So make playing card, make making playing cards.com or make fun playing cards.com. I think it's making playing cards.com. Damn, why can't I remember the exact site? What the hell's wrong with me? Wow. Nonetheless, I promise you guys, I'll input it. No worries. I'll input it. All right, so let's see. Aquarius. This happens all the time where I get the blank one. It's funny. It's so weird to kind of see my eyes. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm shuffling and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm like, I was like, I don't want to see my eyes. Seriously. Oh, you got the same one that um, I believe. I think Aries got this, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So you guys got trust yourself. You are worth it. It's all in your head and strong coffee. Okay, so you guys are also going to become pretty busy, actually, coming up here as well. Yes, yes, yes. Some of you are going to be super busy. So for me, strong coffee, 
you're just gonna have to self-care a lot you know you're gonna have to find ways to cope with the busyness you're gonna kind of have to you're gonna kind of have to go with the flow of things because you don't want to get caught up in feeling so busy and then stressed and anxious and then everything can kind of just plummet and come down so they're just saying you know just be mindful of like your self-care if there's certain things you need to do to pep yourself up like stronger coffee or you know maybe you got to invest in maybe getting a massage during this time or something like you have to make sure you keep up your self-care so that you can kind of be able to go with the flow of things and go with the ease and let it be you know ease into the busyness and stuff like that because you're going to need time to try to get yourself balanced in regards to like scheduling and all that stuff so just be kind to yourself so you also got it's all in your head you are worth it and trust yourself and then at the bottom of the deck is you are right so let me sit on this for like a second Mm, okay. So some of you are struggling a little bit with your intuition. You kind of feel like your intuition might be off a little, okay? Which is, I mean, you know, that can be understandable, especially now that your season's upon you. Like, it's like, you know, once birthdays start to come around, we start to kind of like sit and like reflect, right? Like some of us will sit and think about the year. Some of us will think about the year ahead. Some of us will think about a mix of things. You know, what can we do better? What can we change? What are we going to do? What are we not going to do? You know, stuff like that. So you guys are kind of like, kind of like in limbo about your intuition. Like, the, I feel like for some of you, you're struggling about a decision about a job, you know, like, or, or like your path or like your journey, like where, like what way you want to go, right? And then for the other half of you, I feel like you guys are, there's a lot of things going on in regards to heartbreak or like some sort of like loss or just like misunderstanding with someone or just having like all together like that loneliness. I just feel like loneliness for some of you, like you know, like you're starting off the year and maybe some of you don't have anybody and, you know, you do want someone. Um, but I, I'm hearing a lot of like self-doubt talk and they're kind of saying like, that's all in your head. It's not, it's not what you guys are thinking. You have to literally trust yourself and know that you're worth it and that yes, you are right. And whatever it is that you're thinking, you guys are right. Like if you're thinking, I'm going to take the step and I'm going to jump and I'm going to leap and I'm going to do that. And that's going to be like, they're saying, trust yourself. Like you're right. Trust yourself. You're worth it. Like, you know, like it's all in your head. So it's so funny because you guys are the first ones that I didn't even have to clarify for. I didn't even have to clarify any of this for you guys. Cause this is literally straight, like straightforward. It's literally two things going on. This is going to be good stuff, though. If you guys could legit really entrust yourselves, like, I feel like a lot of you, like, you sit there and you guys, for some reason, have a hard time deciphering if it was your thought or if it was what you heard from spirit. I feel like you guys have, like, a really hard time with that because I feel like you guys sit and you legit try to be like, okay, let me sit, let me see, right? And then, like, when you see, it's like you do hear something, but then it's like... Those seconds pass by and bam, the moment has passed you that it's like that doubt kicks in and you're just like, ah, oh, shit. You guys do that a lot. I feel like you guys do that a lot for some reason. A lot for some reason. And it's like, they're saying that if you guys could just legit have like just a little smidget more of like patience. Like if you, like if you just waited maybe like an extra five to 10 seconds that you would be able to break through, you know? But it's like, it's like you're sitting there and you're, and nothing's happening. And then it's like, you get aggravated and it's just like, oh, forget it. You can't do that. You got to work through that. You know, you got to work through that, that blockage, that, that block, that door, breaking it down. So let's see. All right. Oh, they had a couple for you guys. That, that happened to a couple other people too. So it's fine. We're going to take them. So sun paint the sun back into your sky and then escape this come home to yourself yeah see because you guys are like really not entrusting that you have this capability to like for like a lot of you that you can connect you know that you can literally connect we can all connect but i'm feeling for like a lot of you that i'm reading for Aquarius is like i don't feel that you guys feel like you particularly like i feel like like in your head you think well there's so many people in the world and okay, yeah, we can all connect, but then there are some of us that have like special gifts or whatever, but it's like, do I really have one? So it's like, it's like you constantly self-doubt that maybe you wouldn't even be picked or like chosen and you got to get out of that frame of mind. Like you literally have to be able to know that you're, that you're right. You're worth it. Trust yourself. Like it's literally all in your head. You have to get out of your own head. Okay. So the sun, 
Don't build a home that will come crumbling down if a single person walks out of the front door. When it comes down to it, we can't depend on other people to make us feel happy or fulfilled. The fact is that people are going to leave from time to time and you're the only one who's guaranteed to stay. Take the time to find sources of joy outside of your loved ones. You deserve happiness that lasts. Yeah, because a lot of you, for some reason, feel like you possibly need like to have this like partner or something to complete you and you really don't. It's nice to have and, and you will have it, but you, you have to change the mindset of thinking that you need it because you don't need it though. There's a difference. You understand what I'm saying? There's a big difference. And let's see. Okay, and then escapist. Everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. Some of us like to binge watch shows. Some of us like to listen to music. Some of us like to read. And some of us like to leave it all behind and go on vacation. All that is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful. However, too much escapism can mean that you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Face it head on and let the pieces fall wherever they may. Yeah, you gotta take that leap. Yes, yes. Yes, Aquarius, it's true. And I think I always say, I think in like a lot of my earlier videos, I always say that it's like, it's okay to have all the emotions of like feeling sad, you know, this, that, and the like it's okay to go through all that, but what's not okay is to stay there. Do you know what I mean? Because you have to be able to be strong enough and, and have that willpower too to be able to get yourself out of there, you know? Because that's when, that's when things just start to go downhill. And then out of nowhere, we don't realize what happened from one day to the next, you know? So that was your energy check-in for mid-January, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed and happy birthday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.